Good morning, it's George with Watchman German Shepherd. We're here with the litter from Cross and Piranha. They're eating their breakfast stuff. Got them the raw eggs, you can see. And I gave them some frozen fish sticks and they love them. Uh, good nutrition. Of course, they kibble and water. Uh, that's a standard there and I'd like to give them human grade, good, nutritious, high protein, high fat, supplemental food. The litter's doing great. As usual, the littlest puppy wins the cutest puppy award. She got her back to us right now, but let me see. Look at these guys. What are you guys doing? Look at this one. They're all very cute. Look at that little one. Hello, little pretty. What are you doing? Oh, yeah? Yeah? Had, had, had a puppy like this years ago. Really small, really cute. And I was at the store with her. And someone wanted to buy her. Right there in the store. I was at the home, I was at the Home Depot. Hey, shush. That's the mom getting jealous. But anyway, you can't blame them. They wanted to take her right from me right there. And these other guys, once the ears go up, look at that difference. Ears starting to go up, ears not starting to go up. Big difference in the look. Yeah, they ain't hurting cuteness. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. And they all have that nice, beautiful red red in their coat. Hey, 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 where'd you go, puppy? I gotta put up another board here, see so I put the three quarter or one by six. Um, that's a foot high, this puppy is out of there. I got more, I'm gonna put up another board. I don't want them to get out. Uh, another week, I'll take all the boards down and they could get out into this immediate area here so anyway that's just a little update for the puppies from piranha again and cross and uh they're doing real good next week they go to the vet they had their first vaccine the other day uh, monday they were six weeks old and uh that happened there oh one of the puppies one of the females had a umbilical hernia so i brought that puppy over and they did her uh, I brought her over to the vet on Tuesday, I think. And then I left her and then went back and got her. And so that's coming along good. I could show you that, I guess. No, I'm not gonna. I need two hands to pick her up. I don't want to disturb anything. But the stitching uh, stays in there and then it will dissolve and all. But an umbilical hernia is not unusual. Uh, sometimes they're big enough where they have to be stitched and that was the case with this one so I just had it done at Steinbach Vet over in Blue Bell here in Southeast Pennsylvania and uh, that puppy's healing up and then I give it some antibiotic for the next few days and so anyway I will uh, do a video about that because it's pretty common and it's not worrisome typically it's uh easily fixed by a, 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 a surgery um and they just basically push it in and stitch it up and so I, I do get them where they don't have to you don't have to do anything you don't have to bring the puppy to the vet they just self-resolve so that's the other video i got caught up with, with the whole thing couldn't couldn't stop my brain you have a great day. The Lord bless you as you trust him. Trust the Lord as he's revealed in the scripture. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Appreciate that. Like, share, comment, and question. Uh, get the video out there and uh, comment and get involved. Helps the channel overall. Uh, but like I say, I'm not taking over the world here with my YouTube channel. However, I like to keep it going. And the more people that get involved, the 
where it goes. So thank you. Have a great day.